You will notice most of these themes in Theme Pack 8 have a golden color. That's only the default color though. Most themes are marked with the little pally icon, which means we will be able to pick any background color for them. But what about the watch hands and dials? Version 8.28 of Bubble Clouds now gives you even more control. Those can be changed too. I show you how. So let's go into Bubble Clouds and open the one click theme section. Let's look for uh, this very gold theme. As I click on it, you can see how my watch changed to this theme with the default gold color. But also notice the app lets you pick a different color. If you want to keep the gold, you can just cancel this screen. But if you have a Zen Watch 3 with rose gold accents or a silvery Huawei watch like I do, you can change the offered color. So I here I choose a light gray color, then tap OK and we can already see how the watch face changed to silver. But the hands and dials are still gold. In the new version of Bubble Clouds we can now change even those. First we will have to disable the option apply all theme settings since we don't want to apply all the default settings now. now we can pick hands and dials separately from the background textures in the second and third rows. At this point, we could pick a different set of hands or dials, but even if we click on the same theme, this selective apply screen will appear. You can see the preview of the active and ambient watch face on one side, and the list of watch face components which can be added from the chosen theme on the other side. I pick the clock dial and these three controls appeared below the preview boxes. The top controls the hue or tint of the marked components. See how the watch dial becomes pink when I drag it to one side and green on the other. The middle seek bar adjusts saturation or the amount of color. One side is colorful, the other one is gray. To make the dials silvery color, I simply need to desaturate, move the control to all the way to the left. The last bar changes the luminance or brightness. I will make it just a bit lighter. And we can add as many components as we want with these exact color changes and if you wanted one piece to be a completely different color you would have to apply it separately. Now my silver color watch has the silver theme. Starting with version 8.98 we can do the same color tweaking now right on our watches. I'm going to demonstrate this with the new sampler theme. This mini pack will give you access to a different theme every week, which would normally be part of a paid pack. This week we get this classic theme from pack 1, which has the red accent colors by default. Now we can adjust it as we apply this theme on our watches. We come back to apply this theme again, but this time instead of applying all the elements, we will pick only the minute and second hands, which are normally red. As we do, this switch came up for changing colors. Let's toggle it on. Now the three color adjustment bars appeared, just like in the phone app. We will adjust the top hue control, then tap apply to see the new color. Tapping the preview screen returns us to the theme apply screen. Here we could select other components, and of course we can keep tweaking the color controls. As we do, we will see an instant preview of the changes this time. Finally, we tap on the OK button. Hmm, I think the golden complication colors still look good with the new accent colors, but you can change that too in the favorite cloud settings. Here, I set it also to blue now. Let me show you another example, this time from the newest theme pack 10. 
The theme called engagement is very colorful. It might even be too colorful for some of us. Again, instead of applying all the components, I will select each of them, font, backgrounds, bubbles, you see the color change toggle retains its state from last time and also the color bars which is good if you want to use the same settings for an added component but here is a trick you can reset these color controls to the center position by double tapping on them this time i will reduce the saturation notice when we adjust the colors of the background image the text colors are also affected of course, you can control these independently in the clock bubble settings. These pastels are nice, but let's try this. We increase the luminance all the way. Then, to get rid of the remaining colors, we minimize the saturation. Since this theme includes a transparent background image, the marked by the Pali icon in the theme selector, as we press OK, we can still select a background color. Looks beautiful. I have three more smaller tricks. Let's tap and hold the P card and enable the theme font option. Cool, isn't it? Number two, the date bubbles day color looks out of place now. Tap and hold the date bubble and adjust that to white also. Number three, if you ever want to change the background color, you can do it from the favorite cloud settings. I tap on the clock bubble, tap and hold on the background to get into settings. Let's go into favorite cloud settings. At the very bottom, tap on the Pali icon to turn off the background image. Tap on the Pali again to adjust the color. Finally, Tap on the background image selector to show the graphics over the color. As always, please subscribe and like this video if you found it useful. And please support the Bubble Cloud development with a 5 star review in the Play Store. There are still haters who can really hurt small projects like this one. Their damage can only be balanced out if good people also make their voices heard. You know. It takes 5 seconds to leave a 5 star rating, thank you.